The G5000 exceeds everything we had in here before. I was excited to make that upgrade primarily because we were uh, moving uh, from an older vintage equipment to the state-of-the-art G5000. We were very familiar with the G5000 to our prior use of Garmin products. And uh, we could uh, also position and talk about the safety and um, everything else that went around uh, having all of these improvements. The first time I flew the uh, G5000 was on my initial uh, checkout as second in command. Um, immediately fell in love with it as first flight. Uh, very easy to use, um, had everything we could possibly need uh, available to us. And then of course when I went into training, I had to go back to the system that was in the citations uh, prior to the G5000. Very antiquated, very difficult to use, uh, ate up most of our sim time. You know, the airplane was the easy part. The avionics was the hard part. I uh, was really glad when I had my type rig and I could get back on the line and fly the G5000 all the time. I, I can't really imagine going back. Transitioning to the G5000 for me was really fantastically easy because I had experience with the G3000 and, and other Garmin products. Even the people that we have in our flight crews that come and fly this airplane with the G5000 who haven't used it or haven't had experience with the Garmin products, still it's so intuitive that they pick it up quick. The level of situational awareness is 10 times better with the G5000. It's like getting a brand new flat screen TV in your home as opposed to having that old CRT. As I transitioned uh, from the 7576 to the uh, XLS, it was extraordinary the amount of information useful for a pilot that the G5000 has. Absolutely extraordinary, especially with the, the next rad uh, radar and a live radar. Part of the big justification of uh, the G5000 was the uh, new ability to also have LPV approaches. Uh, our current equipment was basically a GPS approaches or RNAV approaches and uh, ILS localizer approaches. Suddenly with LPV, we had uh, the ability to get in where in earlier instances, we would have probably gone on to one of our alternate airports. The synthetic vision uh, aspect is, you know, kind of puts it completely over the top. It's just another tool that adds a layer of safety that, uh, you know, I can't imagine not having now. On approaches, uh, it's invaluable. We just went in Jackson Hole, and you can see the clear path into the valley and out of the valley. So uh, approach and departure path really just can't put a price on it. My reliance of the iPad has really changed since I've started flying the G5000. Um, I relied on it a lot in the airline world especially. There's really no need for that anymore. I mean, we do have iPads from our company that do have backup information, but you really don't need it, the G5000, because everything you could possibly want is right there. Your flight plan, your charts, your approach plates, your uh, taxi diagrams, everything quickly accessible, easy to read, the Garmin Autopilot uh, is definitely technology-wise way, way advanced over what uh, we had prior. It gives you so many uh, ways to control the aircraft, um, and it does it very precisely, and it thinks ahead. Um, you know, you can, if you have armed the approach, it will very accurately turn on the approach no matter what your speed is. Uh, it's, uh, it does a really, really nice job. My favorite feature of the G5000 is definitely the VNAV capability. Coming from an airplane where we never used VNAV because it was either A, unreliable, or B, uncomfortable for the passengers, getting into this airplane, being able to press a button and it follows the arrival with all the step downs, it's safer, 
it's more comfortable, and it's a heck of a lot easier for us pilots. Having that autopilot in a, in, in a what I call a standardized location, nobody's looking down anymore. It's all up there, and, and, and that in itself gives you a, a, a split second improvement in all reactions of what's going on. With the touchscreen controllers, uh, selecting various functions to get to a new menu or a new level of, of uh, options is quite intuitive. Uh, the icons are clear uh, and they're simple to use and uh, you don't have to go too many levels down to get to what you want. If I was to give a thing that I really find absolutely fantastic is the ability to split the screens and to put so many things that you might want up and then you can simplify it if you want to put it back to a less complex uh, display. This is really the, the, the top of, of the uh, market as far as what's available uh, in an airplane. Uh, I think all of our pilots have fallen in love with it. It's just uh, the best system I could even imagine. It's just such a step above. I would highly recommend it to any potential uh, customer. Uh, put this in your airplane.